Hey, I had a thought I wanted to share with everybody. So now we have this. Well, I shouldn't say now. We got uh, you know we got our dear leader out there, you know now threatening uh, with executive order to take away our guns, um, or shall I say, let me be more articulate, that he wants to further restrict and create a um, a greater background check. So. The agenda is very clear of what's going on here because the terrorist attack that's that just happened in San Bernardino had nothing to do with guns and everything to do with an ideology. And also, too, it's just amazing how pipe bombs and everything else that was created and made it made illegally doesn't even get discussed. It's just the guns. But here is something that. I don't know why people don't bring this kind of stuff up. So when these, uh, they're the the freedom fighters, and other people in other countries are being uh, oppressed, and our government, like the savior, comes in and says, "Oh, we need to help these people." What's the first thing they do to the to the quote unquote freedom fighters who end up a lot of times being the uh, people like ISIS, but forget that topic, they're freedom fighters, they arm them, they arm them to protect themselves, but in our country, the morons, the anti-constitutional plants, global plants, like Obama and every other leader calling for this, is taking our guns. They want to take the guns. Let's arm other countries and their freedom fighters with guns, but our citizens shouldn't have guns. Now, here's my only question. Where in a normal person's mind that has some kind of common sense, does that make any sense? Just a thought. Enjoy your day.